What's up everybody, once again it's Brand Man Sean and today we're going over a high volume, high content marketing strategy without spamming people. Rule number one is omnipresence. You've heard it so many times from me before. It's the idea of being everywhere. But specifically, you want to be everywhere to the group of people that matters. There's probably not a market for you and 55 year olds that like golf. I'm just guessing. But your music might be great to 18 to 25 year olds who like whatever genre that you are in. You want to be everywhere to those people. Have you ever had a song where it was just so hot that you heard it everywhere, it was on the radio and you were like, I don't feel like hearing this thing right now. Then you turn the channel and there it is. Then you turn the channel, there that thing goes again. That is omnipresence, it's everywhere. You want to create kind of an idea of being hot into a small crowd. It's hard to be a big fish in a big pond right off the bat, but you could start off being a huge fish in a small pond. And number two, entertain. Music business, which is in the entertainment business. There are a lot of people that are musicians that make great music, but the ones that are winning and have real careers are in the business of entertainment. But let's get away from music for a second. Think about the top pages that you follow on Instagram. There are a lot of great pages like Fuck Jerry, Shade Room, Baller Alert, I don't know, you name them. But humor and news type pages in particular are always posting it probably like 10 times a day if you're really thinking about it. Whereas people are afraid, a lot of artists are afraid to post two times in a day because they think like people will feel bothered. Pages that actually break through this conditioning actually are the ones that are winning. Post enough to actually get people's attention because people are not on Instagram 24 seven. So most of the posts, news break, people do not see. I've had strategies where I was posting three and four times a day and watched the growth from there and it's worked. As long as you are entertaining people, providing some kind of value, people don't mind. Which actually kind of leads into number three, throw some variety in that thing. I don't want people to think, okay, brand man Sean said I could post 10 times a day and that's all good. Do that for about two months and shit, I should have about 100,000 followers. Nah, man, people will start to hate you if you are just posting the exact same thing over and over and over again. What a lot of people don't understand is not only does it kind of start to feel like family, but since people have already seen it those posts that you are used to just like the memes you've seen like five times and they're exact same each time you scroll right past them so you don't even think about them so throw some variety so you keep capturing people's attention you can let people get used to one kind of post but then throw something new in there then throw something new so you keep capturing their attention all over again People can tell when you're being lazy and people can tell when you are authentically putting in effort and trying to be creative. Number four, be consistent. You can do a few posts consistently for a week, but it only takes about a day for people to forget about you. Think about all those memes that were hot and then once they stop, you know, you don't even remember when they stopped, but you haven't seen them in a while and it's hard to even fully remember exactly what they were about. So be consistent and relentless because this part of the process is actually what weeds out those fake grinders. So many people say they grind and say they put in work, but when it comes to actually doing the actions and executing and constantly posting, it's kind of boring. It gets a little bit monotonous and the results don't show right away a lot of times, but you have to trust and understand they are acting. You just can't visibly see the results yet. And then once you do that enough, then next thing you know, you can cast in, but I'll get to that in another video. And the number five thing to understand about this strategy, unlike so many other strategies when you're trying to get a connection and prove to yourself to an a and and things like that, you are 100% in control and it's cheap. You just have to actually put in the work to actually create the content, actually follow up on the content after you post it and post again and post again and create something else and post again. So it's that time consuming, but it's cheaper for a lot of people who are, let's just say new to the game and they got a lot of time on their hands. For those of you who aren't really bought into a high volume strategy yet, I only have one question. What's your other option? Don't get me wrong. There are other options as I'll go through and as I've already have gone through on this page, but Considering the benefits and how low cost it is, it's not a bad option. That's it. Hit that subscribe button.